Being out on the farm and working the land is part of us. Bill Pearson, live in Springfield, Tennessee. Work on a family farm with my dad, uncle, and my granddad. On the original home place of our farm, I'm the seventh generation. Synthetic indigo dyeing today is a really dirty business. It is made nearly entirely from non-renewable petrochemicals. Chemicals like benzene, formaldehyde, it takes over half a pound of cyanide to make one pound of synthetic indigo. It is totally unsustainable. Stony Creek Colors is a plant-based dye manufacturer, so we make clean and safe dyes for the textile industry. We started focusing on indigo, which is most commonly used for dyeing blue jeans. You can see that there is a little bit of blue forming on the fresh leaf itself. To your left here is um, indigo. Then to the right is um, dark fire tobacco, and that's something that's unique in this area. Tobacco acres are declining, less people using the product. So that's one of the exciting things about indigo, replacing some acres. Indigo is really special as a plant because it fixes nitrogen, it is beneficial insect habitat, and it's a really important way farmers can restore soil health. You see wheat stubble from a wheat cover crop and the roots are going to develop and hold the soil here, there's virtually zero erosion. We believe in a future where you can have chemical manufacturing that's safe enough to exist within your communities. I get to see it on both ends. We grow it and I work here, so I actually process some of my own batches from my field last week or week before last. That was pretty interesting. It was pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. So we're bringing in this raw material from the 60 mile radius, processing it into this beautiful blue powder and can send that out to our customers to be a drop-in replacement for the synthetic indigo that they would otherwise have to utilize. So we're not reinventing that part of the wheel, we're just bringing back a more regenerative chemical input to their processing. We have a say on the farm that you plant in faith and you harvest in faith. When I think about my kids and the future, indigo definitely excites me as being a path for them to stay on the farm if they choose to.